Art Rocks is made possible by the Foundation for Excellence in Louisiana Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Hello and welcome to another installment of Art Rocks with me, James Fox Smith, publisher of Country Roads Magazine. The COVID-19 pandemic has upended the lives of people all over society and artists and especially performing artists are no exception. We recently spoke with three artists from different genres in the Shreveport area about how their work and their relationships with audiences are being reordered. We begin by hearing from world-class vocalist Brenda Wimberly. Brenda Wimberly. I am a classical concert artist who now reside in Shreveport, Louisiana, which is my home. I have performed all over the world in South Africa, Canada, Mexico, uh, Germany, Salzburg, Austria. For the past five years, I have actually been taking care of myself through my residual income of performing outside of Louisiana. In March, my whole life came to a complete stop. I had to readjust because I had events and performances up until December that all canceled themselves out. The pandemic was very dreadful for me because my whole life was uh, interrupted as far as my residual income. I was not able to get unemployment because of uh, the inconsistency of my projects. beginning to learn how to do things online through Zoom. I can't believe it. I'm not really a technical person at all. So this has pushed me into another realm and I'm grateful. I'm about to do a Zoom project for six weeks through the Streetport Regional Arts Council. I'm grateful to that and um, I've done uh, some uh, worship services through Zoom. That has been exciting to me. I, I never, I didn't know, I didn't know that could happen. I've actually been able to uh, go online, copy links of myself, of my performances uh, for different uh, things that I have to do. I have never been able to do that. I, I, you know, it's just amazing. I'm looking forward to actually having my website completed with this technology and and I'm going to be able to get on the directory, the Northwest Artist Directory by myself on my own because it's been, it has been uh, a, a learning, a truly learning experience using uh, technology. Oh, yes. Hello, I'm Whitney Tates, a visual artist. Um, I do mostly acrylic painting of portraits, portraiture, animals, sometimes nature and landscapes. I usually use my artwork as sort of a commentary on things that are going around or going on around us. Lately, I've been doing a lot of murals, mostly memorial murals for people that have passed on. And um, while it's sort of a difficult subject, it is really fulfilling to help people remember their loved ones. I have been making a lot of work during this time. A lot of it has been sold 
fortunately, mostly through galleries here in Shreveport. They've done some COVID related shows or quarantine related shows. And so I've submitted to that and people have been really receptive to what I've been doing lately. I've mostly been focusing on the social symptoms of the coronavirus, like social distancing and how we've had to quarantine and sort of isolate ourselves away from people and how that's been affecting us mentally. I've seen, you know, just my friends and family become slightly agoraphobic, not wanting to leave the house or touch starve, you know. And so I did a series of hands that were, you know, like holding hands, touching. Also did just how people feel sort of overwhelmed and stressed about everything that's going on. And so I just take what I see people going through and put it on canvas with a brush. And it helps me and I think people really resonate with that. I have had museums reach out to me regarding my COVID work. Um, it's mostly been virtual like exhibits to, because a lot of places outside of Shreveport or all over Louisiana still are closed as far as museums go or they're limiting the number of guests. And so they've been putting on virtual shows. And so it's been easier for me to submit something instead of having it shipped and, you know. So um, sending them pictures and having them uh, do virtual shows is a way that they've been able to keep the connection between the viewers and the artists. And, um, build relationships that way and, and I've had sales that way. My income, it, it has been impacted. I would say most of my sales do happen through markets. I think it's just more relatable to people to see my artwork in person and I can have a conversation with them and talk about the artwork and that really helps people want to buy something. Online. So my online sales haven't been as great so I have definitely been impacted by um, all of the canceled markets and events and pop-ups and everything. Here in Shreveport, as far as I'm, I know, everything has been canceled. A few months ago, people were postponing things in the hopes of being able to do whatever it was that they were gonna do, but fall markets, Red River Rebel, that's a big one we have here every year, that's been canceled. And that was a big one I was really looking forward to. I was able for a short time to get unemployment. That helped a little bit, but I had to go ahead and I've been doing jobs for other artists and um, makers around here. So small businesses, I've been helping them out and they've been fortunate enough to be able to pay me. So I think it's a win-win situation. I do have like Instagram and Facebook pages, but I still prefer the in-person markets. But I did, you know, back in March when everyone had to stay home, I, I did um, live sessions from my studio where I just sat and let people watch me paint and suggest what they wanted to wanted me to paint. So I did a lot of um, landscape paintings and people love those. So it's sort of been a way for me to interact with people outside of Streetport area. So that's a plus side with the social media. My name is Ryan and I go by J Ryan Artist and I do a lot of different things. I do public art and event props and a few things here and there. So paintings and quite a few things. Marketing and graphic design, stuff like that. I've created a book called The Adventures of the Flying Furniture a while back. And my wife is also an artist and she helped create the novel just recently. So during this pandemic, I created a sculpture based on that and COVID at the same time. So it is a 10 foot hot air balloon with a Victorian chair with the strings basically cut called escape plan. And what that made me feel was, I basically just wanted to escape this entire year. So trying to create a sense of freedom in this balloon and be able to do that and show people kind of how I feel through that sculpture was pretty interesting, but I, I more so enjoyed the process of building the sculpture itself. Typically, I work in the event world, so therefore, we stopped doing markets about four years ago when uh, our son was born. So I went into the event world, and it's kind of hard to explain that the people I work with also work on some public art projects as well, which is very interesting and fun to work on. And all of the events since March have pretty much been canceled. So I was more 
or less booked up from January of last year to January of this year, because normally I'm booked up for about a year in advance. And all of my contracts have canceled except for two of them now. I create experiences with the team I work with. So we do entryways for Mardi Gras coronations, exhibits for museums, or we do uh, murals and three-dimensional interactive like projects as well. So it's, it's a little difficult to explain what I do, but in the public art realm, it's a lot of different things because if I just painted murals, I wouldn't make a living off just doing that. Um, so we went into three-dimensional uh, exhibits or three-dimensional murals or interactive uh, pieces as well. I travel quite a bit and even though I work in Shreveport and lived in Shreveport for quite a few years, I had an apartment in Dallas as well. We moved out of this apartment after the pandemic and the uh, stay-at-home order to go back home to Shreveport and it's just been kind of nuts. So I've been able to get a few projects here and there. Um, fortunately, my wife is full-time as well with her job and um, so therefore that's been helpful. Since I do have my own company, um, even though I'm sort of a one-man band, I was able to get the PPP loan. for That lasted for about a month. Um, and then I was also able to get unemployment as well. So it's, it's helped out um, until about now, you know, in the last few weeks when the uh, unemployment went down and then all of that fun stuff.